Hey everyone, and welcome back to another shell finding adventure. Oh, I think it's going to be a rag line day today. Let's, I'm sorry about that crabby. Let's start us off with this guy, a lovely piece of lace coral. Here we go. Let's see how much I can gather up before the rain sets in. Well, oh my gosh, just continuing down a few extra meters. Wow, that one stood out on a grey day like today. Oh my goodness, that is a very nicely sized Wendell trap. It should be a beautiful Lamellos Wendell trap, I think. Wow, what a, what a great second find, oh my goodness. Oh, I see another lucky score just waiting for me right here. Yes, it is a cutie. It is a little bear conch. Oh my goodness, I've actually been finding quite a few of these lately. Don't mind that at all. They are lovely little minis. Got myself a little sand dollar right here. I usually uh, pick up a bunch off camera, but I do like to show them from time to time. Uh, yeah, sand dollars are a type of sea urchin. Uh, that's all I know about them. And we get really small ones here. Oh my gosh, the rack line is being good to me today. <gasps> ooh, ooh, are you whole? Oh, let me pick you up. Oh, there we go. Oh, it is whole. Oh my goodness, this is the smallest one I've ever found. It's so cute. It is a little brown lined paper bubble. Um, there's some really, really pretty snails that live in these guys. The snails are called a rose petal snail. Oh my goodness, that's a cute little shell find. Oh, this one's cool. I find this from time to time. It is extremely delicate. Little pieces of hard coral. Like that's not squishy at all. That's like, that's like hard as a stone, but it's extremely, extremely delicate. Um, I will try to put it somewhere safe in my bag, but I have a feeling it will be a little smaller by the time I get it out next time. <laughs> yes, I love these ones. Oh goodness gracious me, look at that lovely guy. No, it's not an olive shell. It is a juvenile Arabian or Eglantina calorie. Ooh, don't drop it, they're very delicate. <laughs> I don't believe it, onto the next rack pile. I've already spotted something like staring me right in the face. Ooh, it does have its top. Oh, he's got a big hole in the side of him, poor fella. It is a lovely little carrier shell. Always something I'm super excited to find that is just a lovely little mini. It looks like we have a pretty juicy looking rack line just right here. Not sure if it'll be filled with goodies. I sure hope it will be. Um, right off the bat, I can just see we got two blotched neurites here. Uh, they're both the same. They're both uh, the black and white blotched neurites. They just got different patterns on them. They're pretty cool. I also just spotted this guy right here. Very nice. He's got some lovely colors on him. He's a little cap-shaped false limpet. I, I almost never see them with those lovely um, uh, contrasting patterns on it. I always like to pick them up when I see them like that. Oh my goodness, there is so much to see. Got a keyhole limpet over here, a bit different than the first one I just picked up just then. Yeah, got a hole on the top of him, got some nice dark colours on him as well. Well, here I was working up a nice little handful of minis like, oh yep, there's a little sand dollar right there. There's our little pheasant shell right here. Didn't even see this one at my feet. Oh my goodness, let me put the rest of the minis in my little mini bucket. Here we go, Wendell trap number two, everyone. Oh, he's very sandy, there we go. He's got a bit of a hole in the side of him, but other than that, he sits really nice. He is very lovely and colorful. It is another Lamellos Wendell trap, absolutely stunning. Oh, that one looks like a very nice size. Yes, this guy. Here's a lovely little white moon snail. I've just been calling them the Coro moon snails. They've got lovely little bits of texture all running on them. Absolutely wonderful little mini. They don't get much bigger than this, I don't think. I see my first blue calorie today. He looks wonderful. Very, very nice. Um, yeah, I call them a blue cowrie. Their common English name is the yellow-toothed cowrie. I don't think their teeth look very yellow at all, but anyway. 
Oh gosh, I completely stepped over that one before. I'm sorry, I don't know if that was in frame. Oh, I'm tragic lately. Oh, what a big, lovely, clandestine cowrie I've got here. Lovely to see its dark brown zigzags on top of it. Just a wonderful little shell. He goes straight into my bucket. Oh, and we got a little smiley bean here. There we go, he's just a little guy. Oh my goodness, he is a very little, little guy. Uh, what I, there, there it is. <laughs> my smiley bean. Ah, oh, just spotted another goodie. Wow, this rack line is really, really good today. Lots of exciting things. Yes, it is lovely. Oh, he is pretty cracked and old actually, but yes, it is a wonderful little Humphreys calorie. I'll take him to put in my little glass jar of Humphreys calories. Well, I just picked up my own handful of goodies right here. Got a blue cowrie, a graceful cowrie, um, a big bean and a, some coral right there, some lace coral. Let's pick up some ones for everyone else. Uh, so let's pick up some ones together, I mean. Got ourselves a little juvenile cowrie right here. I think it's possibly a snakehead. Very cool, he goes in the bucket. What else do you guys see? Let's move a little bit further down. Um, Got a lot of limpets around, lots of broken shell grits and everything. Whoa! Oh my goodness, you guys are good luck! Whoa! Oh, what a fabulous donkey, everyone! Oh my goodness, that is absolutely lovely! Look how it just goes right around to its teeth like that. Oh my goodness, that is a wonderful shell. Uh, uh, good on you everyone, good spotting. Got another little sand dollar right there. Um, alrighty, let's keep picking up some shells for everyone. I mean everyone to look at. <laughs> if you want your own shells everyone, I will be having a giveaway very soon for my 1000 subscribers uh, celebration, I guess is what I'm going to call it. Oh my goodness, so be sure to keep an eye out for that one. It is practically imminent. All right, I see some minis here, so let's pick them up. First off, we'll start off with something easy, a pheasant shell. Next, I see another little sand dollar and a little bean trivia right here. Just a regular bean, he's not a smiley bean. Um, um, we got a little coro moon snail over here. Very nice, just a small guy. We've got, whoa, oh, I did not see him. Oh, it's a second Humphreys calorie. He is very worn away on the top, but he is awesome on the bottom. That is just a lovely, lovely color. Oh gosh, got ourselves a little uh, red top shell right here. I don't even know if I can find out their name. I'll try to though. Got ourselves another pheasant shell. Yeah, lots of goodies. It's easier when you sit down, your eyes can kind of get used to what they're looking at rather than standing up and hunching over. Ooh, that guy's nice. Oh, stretch. Oh, it hurts. He is a very large cap-shaped false limpet. He's got a lovely uh, layer of black all around him. That's pretty cool. Yep, all of those guys are going in the bucket. Hmm, interesting little bivalve. I'm not usually into these little mini bivalves. This one's strange though. He looks like he's trying to be a spoon. Anyway, yep, maybe I, uh, yeah, I'll take him. Why not? Ah, uh, yes, when the tide does not get too low. Oh, I just noticed right behind that bean. Yes, look at that guy. Oh, he's a little bit faded, but he is a, uh, he's a fringed cowrie. Yep, and I saw in the corner of my eye, I try not to freak out about it. Oh, it's so cute. Oh, it's a little wendell trap. How about this guy? Got myself a lovely bean, a lovely fringed cowrie, and a lovely little wentle trap. Oh my goodness, this is why micro shelling is just so much fun. Back to back shell finds. Oh, nice. This is the first unbroken, yes, it is unbroken. This is the first unbroken one I've seen today. It is a lovely yellow tinted cowrie, the Labralinata cowrie. Although I did hear someone else say it recently, I think it could be Lineata cowrie. I don't know, Latin is a dead language, everyone. It's made up anyway. All languages are made up. That's the one I caught out of the corner of my eye. Here he is. It is another little bear conch. Oh my goodness, just finding oh so many of them lately. It's a nice surprise. 
I feel like I went ages without finding any of them. Don't mind me, I'm just picking up a bunch of random pheasant shells to throw in my little uh, bucket. Got myself right here, got myself a little air breathing limpet. Oh, don't drop him. Got myself a little air breathing limpet. He is very, very cool. I always thought of him as like a spider web limpet until I knew his name. Just sat down, I was about to move my foot into position. Noticed this one, just, oh, there's a Wendell trap right next to it too. Oh my God, are you kidding? Wendell traps everywhere today. Is this number three or four now? Yep, got another little Wendell trap. I'll put him in the, uh, in the bucket. The first one I picked up, another little rare mini. It is another little fringed cowrie, also quite faded. Oh my goodness. And because I'm curious, what's this big white guy? Oh wow, he looks like a very large limpet. Not sure if he's another one of those cap-shaped false limpets. He seems a bit too big for that. I'll have to research it. It looks lovely though. Okay, cool. Very cool. He's a bit beaten up, but yeah. It's a little Pacific false shell. Not one I typically find, so wow, that's pretty cool. I, I like finding those, I'll take him. I was just uh, brushing the pile aside and I just saw the stripes on the bottom of this guy. Oh, he does look good on top. He looks a little bit worn away, but I, I rather like him. He is a beautiful little cat cowrie. I don't typically find too many of these guys. I always enjoy finding them. This one looks like a sub-adult maybe because he's got so much of his color still wrapping around. Yes. Oh, look at this little mini. Isn't he adorable? I think he's like a dog whelk or like a NASA shell or something, or maybe a dove shell. Yep. I've got no idea and he's super, super cute. So I definitely want to take him with me. Little Inces Sand Snail, what color are you on top? Ooh, nice. Here's a little purpley one on top, a little bit faded, but he's very nice. I was just picking up another nice little handful of minis for myself before I noticed this one. Oh my goodness, he is big. He is very large. This guy is a gaudy dog whelk. Very, very cool. They're kind of common uh, on the rack lines, but I just really like them. All their patterns are a bit unique, and I've never found one this big before. That is just super cool. Oh my goodness, after all of the faded fringed cowries today. Oh, I just, I'm sorry, I <laughs> just spotted this one as well. Oh my goodness, it's a little baby giant hairy triton shell. Oh, that's super adorable. Oh, I'm sorry, back to the cowrie I was looking at. This one looks shiny on top. Oh, yes, indeed. That is for sure the best one today. Wow, he's got a very pale yellow color, but he is all shiny on top. He's a lovely fringed cowrie, not worn away like the other ones I found. Just a super stunning find. Little commercial scallop right here. Yeah, he's all whole, got kind of like a very faint mottled color through him. Awesome. And of course, I have been picking up a few of these off camera as well. Another lovely piece of lace coral. Another one to uh, go in my big jar. Oh, Mr. Nurite, don't you look nice? Oh gosh. Oh my goodness. Yes, indeed. I don't think it's a black Nurite and it's definitely not a blotched Nurite. I think it might be one of the more uncommon ones here. Probably a wavy Nurite because of that wavy texture on it. Oh my goodness, he is lovely. I rarely come across these guys. Oh yes, another stunning cap shaped. Oh no, sorry, this one's got a hole in it. Oh, it is a keyhole limpet. Oh my goodness, that's the most beautiful keyhole limpet I've found for these guys. I thought it was a cap shaped false limpet without the hole because they have a lot of uh, black and white on them when I sometimes find them like that. Oh, very nice. Also, uh, the rain has literally just started to set in. You can see it is pouring down in the distance over there. You can barely see Malulaba. I might need to end it here for now, I think. So here are the shell finds for yesterday. And if you've enjoyed them, please hit that like button for Ninja and subscribe if you want to see more shelling adventures. But of course, oh, bye Ninja. But of course it is time to talk about a favorite. So please let me know down in the comments which ones were your favorites as well. Oh my goodness, I can't believe it. One, two, three, four Wendell traps. That is just so wonderful. Are they even supposed to be rare? I don't know. Finding four in one day was pretty spectacular. 
I also found a lovely little brown lined paper bubble. Like seriously, it is so small. Couple of lovely neurites, lots of lovely limpets actually. Oh my goodness, I really enjoyed the limpets today. And just so many wonderful calories as well. Oh my god. Oh, and a carrier shell. But my favorite today, oh my gosh, what do I even pick? Um, you know, oh, there's so many I love equally. It's one of those days where I just have like five favorites. Okay, my favorite today is probably going to be. Yes, this lovely, adorable little brown lined paper bubble. My smallest one ever is just a cute little dude. Anyway, that's it for this time, everyone. Thank you so much for watching. Bye, guys. What's this? What's this, hey, bud? What's this? Is it any good? What do you mean it's no good, bud? Just you go back to eating the grass. Yes. Yes, you are wonderful. Yes, hello.